Hey, from Moscow, I'm talking to participant from Israel, May Feingold. Uh, good morning, May. Good morning, excellent morning. How are you? Very good. How was your flight yesterday? It was very good. I had a good flight and I'm having a beautiful morning. So this is your uh, first and the only visit uh, prior to Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, why uh, You haven't been to Amsterdam party, you haven't been to London party. Why have you decided to choose Moscow? Um, actually, my time management, I'm a very busy theater actress in Israel. Uh, I play in a lot of musical theater, so I couldn't I couldn't fly anywhere because I'm working a lot, which was a shame, but still I have many blessed work in Israel, so I'm fine with it. And I had a bit of time and Russia uh, came and fell into my schedule and it was perfect. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> uh, is it your first visit uh, to Moscow? Yeah, it, it, it's a dream come true. I always wanted to go to Russia and I couldn't believe that it happened so fast in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you managed to see something here, to walk around the city? Uh, we arrived yesterday, we went to eat in a Ukrainian restaurant, mm -hmm. which was uh, oh. interesting. And uh, it's funny because I know the culture so well, because all my friends in Israel are from Russia and from the Ukraine. And I know, I know the culture, but I've never been to the country. So right after the interview, I'm going to walk around and travel. I'm going to see the Red Square and the theater. And uh, tonight we have the big party and the show. And tomorrow morning, I'm off back to Israel. So I'm going to have to come back again. <laughs> Just one day. Just one day? What can you do in one day? <laughs> okay, uh, moving to your Eurovision performance. Uh, can you tell us uh, about any secrets of your performance in Copenhagen? I don't have any secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to be on stage with two amazing female dancers, mm -hmm. just like in the same heart video that we shot for the song. And uh, it's very important for me because I think the song, Same Heart, Anyone can connect to it because it's a story about a person that uh, fights the demons of the past and becomes a winner. And I think it has a lot of woman empowerment mm -hmm. in it. I, that's, that's a subject I connect to very, very deeply as a woman. And uh, I've struggled in my life. I had many fights in my life and I do feel a winner today. So this song connects to me. So I wanted to bring a lot of female energy to the stage and I believe uh, uh, we did a good job with that. So uh, you'll tell me after, okay. <laughs> after you'll see it. <laughs> okay, and you, uh, will you be dancing on the stage yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm also dancing, <laughs> dancing and singing, which is a, it's a, it's a tough song to sing, mm -hmm. which makes it even more complicated when I sing and dance. So I do a lot of rehearsals and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine so far. <laughs> yeah, we'll do great. Uh, we heard you will have uh, some special suit on the stage. Can you describe it? Yeah, actually, it's still in working mm -hmm. process. It's not finished yet. It's supposed to be finished in a few days, hopefully, mm -hmm. <laughs> because we don't have much time. But it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be an evening gown with a samurai feel to it. It's going to be black with a lot of stones and complicated things and it's going to be fine and it's going to be fashion and so far I love it. I love Great. it. I connect to it. Great. So will your relatives, family go to Copenhagen to support you? Um, I'm supposed to bring um, my young princess, my two and a half year old princess and my parents, mm -hmm. but so far my husband and I, we're still thinking about it because it's, it's a long trip. It's two weeks, she does have to go to kindergarten and she has a lot of things going on in Israel. Mm -hmm. So we are still thinking what's best for her and if they're not going to come, so we're just going to come with a, with a professional crew. Yeah, I think there's going to be enough people from Israel coming to Copenhagen yeah. to cheer for us. Plenty of people. Uh, will you bring any amulet uh, uh, and uh, lucky charm with you to Copenhagen? Well, what? Sorry. Lucky charm. I lo uh, will I bring a lucky charm? Yeah. I'm bringing my husband. <laughs> He's my lucky charm. <laughs> so, and what message uh, can you uh, give to the viewers of our interview? 
actually, uh, it became my message throughout every interview I do in the world. There is so much free love that I'm, I've been given, which is amazing because I've never experienced anything like it. Because the ESC fans, they love the competition and they love me because I'm a part of the competition and, and it's free. It's free, it's free love. So keep with the free love, it feels amazing. Love each other, come together to celebrate music and the Eurovision and just keep doing what you're doing. That's my message. Keep doing what you're doing because you do it so well. All right, and uh, what are your expectations from Eurovision? Um, first, to enjoy the experience because it's a once in a lifetime experience so you have to enjoy it and hopefully uh, the hard work we've been doing for the past few months, hopefully it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off if I walk off stage and I'll say, yes, I did it. It doesn't matter which place we're going to take and what's going to happen. If I'll be happy with the result, I can live with myself after. So that's my only expectation at the moment. And I would like uh, to ask you to sing something for us. To what? <laughs> to sing. No! Yes. In the morning, in yes. the park. <laughs> no way, don't do that. It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. I'm a shy person, don't see uh, me like that. But uh, nobody is here, almost. <laughs> I won't sing for you. <laughs> okay. No, no, seriously. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll hear. Uh, we'll hear I it in the lot, evening. I need a lot of energy and emotions to just burst in singing. I'm not the type of person that walks in the park and sings <laughs> sings to itself. <laughs> Tonight we will sing on the stage in Moscow yeah. stage. Yes, we'll hear. Yeah, yeah. I'll do. I'll do three songs. Actually, I'll do uh, Which? I, I Feel Love mm -hmm. um, and Sweet Dreams, which everyone knows, and Same Heart. Right. Yeah? Right. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Uh, have a nice time in Moscow. Thank you. Uh, and uh, wish you good luck in the evening tonight. Thank yes, you. Yes, and uh, wish you good luck for preparations uh, for Eurovision mm -hmm. and see you in Copenhagen. Yes, see you. Yes. See you there. Thank you. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>